there were three frogs sitting on a log over a pond, and one of the frogs decided to jump into the pond. So then, how many frogs were sitting on the log? It seems like a question of simple arithmetic, like something out of a child's elementary math book. Three minus one equals two, right? But wait, that one frog only decided to jump into the pond. We don't hear that it actually took the leap. So there are still three frogs sitting on the log. The decision was made, but not carried out. This question was posed to me once in spiritual direction. I was in the midst of a difficult discernment, overthinking, stuck in a paralysis of analysis, and I knew what I needed to do, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. And in offering me this story about the frogs on the log, my spiritual director was nudging me to recognize the difference between making a decision and actually carrying the decision out. Our readings today challenge us to consider both how we make decisions and how we live them out as believers who seek to walk in God's wisdom. The first reading from Sirach offers stark contrasts. There is fire and water, life and death, good and evil, and we're challenged to make a choice and then reach out our hand. It's not enough to just choose life, to choose the good. We also need to reach out and enact that choice. We need to physically take action, to make that phone call, to have that difficult conversation, to set that boundary, to offer that apology. And then in the gospel, moving through the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus offers a different but a complementary challenge about how we make decisions and live them out. Four times we hear, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, but I say to you, his listeners are challenged not just to check off the box of following the rules, but to be aware of inner motivations. It's not simply conforming to rules about hateful speech, marriage, adultery, oaths, but about having a heart fundamentally oriented towards reverencing others in our speech, honoring the gifts of sexuality and marriage, and being trustworthy and honest. This is a call to deeper conversion, a challenge not just to keep the law, but to have an internal posture of love and respect for others, for God. A challenge to be a person of integrity. So when we read these texts side by side, Sirach and the Sermon on the Mount, we're challenged to integrate our hearts, our heads, our hands, our intellect and will, what we think and what we do, and why we do it. So what about you? Is there a place where you have made a choice in your mind and your heart, but haven't yet carried it out? A place where you're still sitting on the log, looking down into the pond? Or is there a place where you're technically doing the right thing, but your heart isn't in it? Where you're going through the motions, following the letter, but not the spirit of the law to be compassionate, loving, truthful, just. What support do you need in reaching out your hand and choosing life and choosing the good in your world this week? <laughs>